what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're back here on madden 22 rebuilding the new york giants before i get in this video someone asked me to rebuild the new york giants which is why we're doing that today and i also would love to see you guys like the video subscribe to this youtube channel if you have not already we're on the road to 1,000 subs on this YouTube channel, so if you have not subscribed and would love to, you know, it'd be greatly appreciated if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. But I won't lie to you, I'm still in the process of learning Madden. No, you know, I feel like at each and every rebuild that I've done, I've gotten better and better at rebuilding in Madden. It's kind of tougher than I thought it was going to be um, with the new draft and everything that's been happening, but uh, I feel like we'll, we'll eventually get it down. So let's go ahead and generate our best lineup real quick. That way we have our best players out here. So... Uh, this is what we got. So we have Saquon Barkley, obviously a guy that yeah, most of the time can't stay healthy. Very unfortunate. The offensive line is absolutely terrible. We have Evan Ingram uh, uh, at the tight end. Obviously, they paid Kenny Galladay a lot of money to come here. They got Kadarius Tony with hidden development. So he should end up being pretty damn good for us, I would imagine. And then, like I said, Kenny Galladay. Uh, I think I might end up trading him just because I know how much money the Giants paid him. And I feel like his cap hit's going to be really big on us. Uh, so we'll, we'll kind of pay attention to that, kind of just see how that goes. But... Uh, Sterling Shepard on the outside uh, definitely will probably keep him around Darius Slayton as well uh, superstar development so that's uh, our star development I should say and then Daniel Jones obviously uh, I don't know for me man I know Giants I, I don't know how Giants fans personally feel about him but ever since he's been drafted I'm just watching him I've never thought he was that good uh, to be honest I just never thought he was and turns over the ball a lot and it seems like he's gotten better at times but for me I just don't think he's the answer but I could be totally wrong I'm not like a NFL scout or anything so I can't tell you but uh Leonard Williams uh so honestly the defense actually definitely has some decent uh plugins uh so Jabril Peppers I mean the secondary is actually not bad at all so we might be able to work with it um, as far as ages are concerned, we got a 25, Adore Jackson, Jabril Peppers, I believe is like probably 20, yeah, 25 years old. And then Logan Ryan, I think is a veteran. He's like, uh, he's 30, which isn't terrible, but, and then James Bradbury, I think is like 25 as well. So, or he's 28, my bad. So James Bradbury. So like a lot of good, uh, corner help. And then Leonard Williams, they got from the uh, New York Jets in a trade a while back. And he's been good for them. Dexter Lawrence. Uh, how old is Dexter Lawrence? He is 23. So yeah, there's a lot of actually good. Good things happening on this defense. Not too bad. It's not been like the last few episodes where I've literally had like no way of uh, upgrading everything just because everything wasn't there. And then uh, we got Ojolari here, 21 years old. Uh, like him at right outside linebacker. Blake Martinez. Uh, let's. Uh, how old is Blake Martinez? 27. Normal development. Okay. So this team isn't as terrible as I would, you know, initially thought I was going to be rebuilding this team. There's actually not. You know, the worst. We got Andrew Thomas on the outside at left tackle. Everything else on the offensive line, though, is not that great. So we'll have to figure out what we're going to do there. So I think the first thing we're going to do, though, is we're probably going to try to move on from Daniel Jones. I'm not saying I'm going to trade him, but he's not going to be the guy either. But he might just be here for now. Uh, Kenny Galladay, though, is the guy I think I'm going to go ahead and start uh, a trade with. He's an 83 overall, and I know he's making a ton of money. So let's see what we get for Kenny Galladay, I think. I think that's going to be my first initial uh, trade that I'm going to do. So the first trade we decided to do was get Chris Lindstrom from, from the Atlanta Falcons who has star development. Kenny Galladay's cap hit is $20 million next year. So that is exactly why I wanted to trade him. I had to give up a seven. Of course, that gives us offensive line help as well. So that's going to save our cap space next year when uh, Kenny Galladay is like cap hits going to be $20 million. So I knew I wanted to trade him immediately. He hasn't had that great of a year for... New York anyway so now we have a little bit more help on the offensive line just one other player obviously but there's more we can do here so now we have Darius Slayton Kadarius Tony Sterling Shepard so I like our wide receivers now I don't think Kenny Galladay was necessarily necessary based off what we've seen from him in real life so I feel good about that so the offensive line obviously still needs some work to do uh defense wise uh we still honestly I I don't hate the defense it's not bad at all we need a defensive tackle uh maybe and then everything else is actually not terrible so uh, maybe even a right out or left outside linebacker and yeah i mean and then mckinney also has uh star development so 28 years old though so not really sure how much he'll go up but i feel pretty good i feel like that might be the only trade we initially well, probably not actually the only trade we do we probably will go ahead and maybe maybe we trade uh mckinney for like a younger linebacker left outside or younger defensive lineman or even an offensive lineman we'll see i think I'll, I'll probably try to make one more trade and then uh daniel jones of course will try to move on from him probably in the off season or something so i feel pretty good uh that first trade i felt good about but everything else uh we'll, we'll probably try to make one more trade here before we send like the first season and the last trade we're going to do before the season starts is going to be trading mckinney for austin corbett in a third round pick we trade a fourth rounder so basically we get a star 
guard and austin corbett so just more help on the offensive line so i feel pretty good about that initial trade as well so i think those are the only two trades we're going to make though so after looking at everything uh the star development now is going to look uh, obviously we need to move uh corbett though or this other guy to the left side so let's move chris lindstrom to the left side and then austin corbett will play the right side so we'll have two guards a left tackle on the outside uh we're i think we're on to something i really do so we'll move him to left guard and then obviously we trade one of our middle linebackers so we'll need some more depth there but there you know that free agency we could address that so offensive line looks a little bit better uh obviously quarterback still needs to be addressed defensive wise again we traded one of our middle linebackers away but uh for the most part this defense isn't bad at all uh we need to get a defensive tackle of course and a left outside linebacker and another middle linebacker but other than that this team is uh, not bad at all, so I feel pretty good. We're going to go ahead and simulate this first season and uh, hope for the best. Obviously, around draft time, we'll try to get even better. The defense is an 81 overall, but as soon as we get a quarterback here, I imagine this team will be even better. Season mark, we are currently 2-5. and five. Obviously, not very good. Not surprised whatsoever. Uh, we definitely need to go ahead and negotiate with some of the guys we have as far as impending free agents are concerned. We have Evan Ingram, we have Jabril Peppers, and then Austin Corbett, I think, are the only three guys I'm really interested in negotiating with. Uh, so let's hopefully try. Let's just go ahead and make the first initial offers. So um, I like the link of the contract, but that's about it. Okay, so we need to uh, fix his contract a little bit. And then let's try Jabril Peppers. He likes the link of the contract. That's about it. And then last but not least, Austin Corbett. Will uh, he sign if we give him like maybe a four-year deal all right boom austin corbett stays okay so we got austin corbett and then we need to uh renegotiate with jabril peppers and evan ingram but i'm confident we'll be able to get those two back as well so um we're not gonna have a ton of cap space it looks like as far as uh this upcoming free agency uh but again we have a lot of good players as it is so i'm not too surprised by that so uh we're gonna go ahead and continue though to simulate the rest of the season um obviously two and five not very good at all but that would give us a high draft pick and we'll be able to you know fix things in the offseason a little bit more 10 which isn't terrible i think uh you know not a terrible record it could be better obviously Avin kamara is your nfl mvp bruce aaron's coach of the year Avin kamara also offense player of the year defense player aaron donald trevor lawrence your offensive rookie and then right outside linebacker uh defensive rookie of the year jeremiah owusu uh i'm probably gonna botch that name so i'm gonna continue to say that and then miles garrett and the cleveland browns go on to win the super bowl good for them okay so uh we have uh some work to do this offseason as you can tell so let's go straight to the re-signing period where we can try to again to negotiate with jabril preppers and uh, i believe it was uh evan ingram which we want to keep both of them obviously so uh, let's go ahead and try to grab whoever we can i'm not really sure what pick we're going to have in this upcoming draft but evan ingram i like the contract link is good but that's about it so let's try to you know give him a little bit more money let's try that and hopefully he'll accept this and he just says no and Okay, we're gonna franchise tag him because nine million isn't the worst in the world. So we're gonna franchise have, tag Evan Ingram. And then uh, we'll go ahead and try to get Jabril Peppers back because I don't wanna lose him. So let's try to initially offer that. And boom, Jabril Peppers is back. So just like that, we we're able to keep pretty much everybody I wanted to. So that's good. Uh, definitely would have loved to have not franchise tagged Evan Ingram, but oh well. I know Evan Ingram has kind of been in some trade rumors. So that's probably like why I, I don't wanna be in New York anymore, but um, he's gonna stay. So. Um, just like that we're ready to go to free agency where i don't think we're gonna have a ton of money unfortunately and actually before we do that i actually kind of want to look at the stats because uh, we want to see how daniel jones did uh he, he's 18 touchdowns five interceptions only 3700 yards not the worst in the world uh but not the best either saquon barkley 25 or 24 touchdowns 1500 yards obviously the man in real life has definitely dealt with some injuries but in madden the man went off so we love to see it uh, receiving yards wise we had evan ingram with 983 sterling shepherd with 954 slayton with uh 798 and Kadarius tony with 629 five touchdowns i'm confident once we get a new quarterback in i think we'll be fine defensive wise um interceptions we had uh adore jackson with four logan ryan with three and then jordan Julian love with two like martinez with one jabril peppers with one james bradbury with one okay solid and then I, I didn't even look at the sacks let's go ahead and see if we had any uh sacks and then the sacks we had seven and a half from leonard williams okay solid all right let's go straight into the free agency period i don't think we have a ton of money initially when i looked so let's just go ahead and make sure we're an 81 overall team for now uh let's see free agency wise we have negative four million dollars in cash space so yeah we literally have no money whatsoever unfortunate so 82 overall though uh, let's go ahead and look at maybe how our lineup looks differently now so 
Um, we have, let's see, everyone's kind of down. We got a 77 overall, Luke, uh, Andrew Thomas, 84 overall, 79 overall. Uh, Darius Slayton up to an 80. Stony Shepard's the same. Daniel Jones is a 73 overall now, so that's cool, but not really. Still my uh, initial guy. I want 80 overall, 83, 84. Leonard Williams and uh, Dexter Lawrence didn't really go up. Okay, so um, not initially the best. Okay, I'm going to definitely check to see who is killing our cap space. I kind of want to look at that real quick. Just see uh, who's making the most amount of money on this team that's not allowing us to have like any money. So uh, the cap hit for 2022, it's Leonard Williams contract and James Bradbury and Nate Solder, who's a 68 overall, $18 million cap hit. Wow, I should have looked at that earlier. Adoree Jackson, uh, 15. I mean, at least he's an 84 overall, but a 68 overall, $18 million cap hit. We got to find a way to get rid of him immediately that's just not gonna work okay so let's see if we can try a trade okay so we need somebody who has like cap space so let's say the Bengals have cap space what you do is what i've done is i ask for a seventh round pick take the money off my hands and they accept boom just like that we got rid of some cap space so that might have given us a little bit of cap space and free agency if i know what i'm talking about so hopefully um free agency wise it still says it's negative four million but i believe it doesn't update for some reason let me check if there's anyone else that's just making an absurd amount of money that's like killing us right now. So uh, Leonard Williams, of course, we're going to keep everyone, you know, up top making money. At least Blake Martinez, 28 years old, normal development, making $14 million. That could be something maybe we look at. Uh, obviously, we franchise tagged Evan Ingram, so no surprise there. Andrew Thomas, $8 million. Yeah, there's really no one else. I guess Blake Martinez would be the only other guy that I would consider trading. But at the same time um i'm not really sure how much money. let me go look in free agency to see how much money we have i believe once i traded that uh that should have gave us some money it should have anyway i believe we have nine million dollars available funds 111 million i'm not sure what that means but okay all right well but uh, we need middle linebacker we need defensive tackle uh we could use some offensive linemen as well so let's go ahead and look at offensive linemen to start up top jason kelsey 88 overall 34 year old um Ryan Allen, no one out here in you know, center wise is really enticing me about right tackle. Nothing there as well. Defensive tackle. Do we have anything? Sheldon Richardson. Uh, we have Larry who is uh, 28 years old at uh, star development, but I'm not really sure that helps us any. Is there anyone down here? Nope, not at all. Okay. I guess the last initial thing would be middle linebacker, which I know there's always good middle linebackers and we have Leighton Van Der Esch. We have uh barnes who's 24 years old okay chris barnes that actually wouldn't be uh, actually wouldn't be too bad so i think i should try to invest in barnes 24 year old star development shouldn't cost me too much money i'm gonna go ahead and try to get him here so i don't really know what's gonna take for me to grab him but i'm gonna try to get chris barnes here and that gives us the best offer it should anyway by a country mile let's try to uh, ad uh adjust it a little bit that way we don't um let's let's try that instead and 99 total points. Could I afford Leighton Van Der Esch as well? Let me check. I don't think so, but I'm going to try. Let's see. Okay, that's going to give us negative cap space if I do that. Okay, that will give us... Yeah, we don't have enough salary room. Okay, um, let's try that. I don't think this... Yeah, we're not going to have enough cap space. So, all right, we're just going to go ahead and walk away with Chris Barnes, hopefully. And that's going to be our middle linebacker addition to the team. And as far as quarterback, obviously, there's not going to be a good quarterback on the board. Uh, we could sign like James Winston, and that's cool. But uh, Marcus Mariota, Colin Kaepernick, but it doesn't make any sense. Metro Trubisky, now these guys are going to change the needle for us. So not going to worry about that too much. And then let's just go straight to next week and hope we get Chris Barnes out of free agency. If he rejected, that's an L because obviously that was like our big signing. So hopefully we get Chris Barnes. He accepted just like that. We got ourselves a new middle linebacker. So going into the draft, it's offensive line, uh, free agency. We still have $4 million. So... We might be able to get someone cheap, right? I don't know. Let me check again. Uh, Punter, Young Wei Ku, uh, Chase Edmonds, Raheem Moster, Henry Ruggs, Gary Conley. I mean, what I would, what would I want? I would want offensive line. We could sign Ben Jones, who's 33 years old. He's gonna go down in overall, obviously. I mean, could I offer him like a contract? Is it not? Yeah, I don't think I have any money. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do anything. So that is going to be our first off season. Nothing crazy. Well, we're gonna have the draft as well. Um, so that's good. We'll have the draft to worry about. And uh, hopefully, well, let's go to mock drafts and kind of see what pick we have. So we have the fourth pick in the draft. Okay, so that could give us a good quarterback. Although Sam Howell and Spencer Rattler could go right before I could grab them. So 
Uh, not the ideal thing in the world, but um, hopefully we can walk away with a quarterback out of the draft uh, with a good development. We'll see. And then uh, basically defensive tackle as well and offensive line help. So I feel like we're in a, in a good state. Nothing crazy. But All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the NFL draft. The NFL draft this year is so tough, but I still want to make it a part of the videos because the draft is just so like so important it's just really hard to like get it correctly i've noticed this year so um we're gonna go ahead and pause the draft of course i don't like the time limit it doesn't give me enough time to like um do anything so basically we're gonna go in and submit to our fourth pick in the draft um so let's go ahead and simulate to next user pick i didn't I almost click simulate next user round uh so simulate to next user pick we have the fourth pick in the draft so the Jets took spencer rattler okay um let's go ahead and make our selection let's go ahead and see Who's still on the board? So we have, let's see. We have, if it'll show me who's on the board. Excuse me, EA. Okay, I'll just draft this guy, I guess. What What the hell is going on? I need to see, okay, there we go. I was about to say like, can I see what I'm doing? Okay, so we have uh, a talented right end on the board, 90% completion scouting on him. So uh, always looking for a massive hit, finesse moves B, tackle A. So he could be pretty damn good for a defensive lineman. We still need a quarterback, though, is the problem. So um, third, 40-yard dash, right end. So we could play him, or we could move one of our... So A, pursue, eight. Dude, this guy looks like a stud. I don't know, man. I might have to try, I might have to assign him, or uh, draft him, I should say. Um, hopefully, he'll have a star development. When's our next pick? I'm not even sure when our next pick is. Let me go ahead and make sure that way, because I'm going to need a quarterback out of this draft. So um let's go ahead and see make your selection resume just skip ahead in the draft uh manage roster okay this is what i want to see so address our trade center and let's see what picks we have because i'm not even totally sure so draft pick wise we have four and oh we have the 10th pick in the draft as well okay okay good okay we're we're chilling then i'm gonna go straight i'm drafting the talented defensive guy on the board that's what i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna draft a quarterback so let's go ahead and take our selection this guy should be an absolute animal hopefully so we're taking him i'm not looking back please be good and he has hidden development w so we got a hidden development player so that's huge very nice all right now let's go to our next pick so similar to next user pick and we got the 10th pick on the board all right so now let's go ahead and see if we can get a quarterback here so uh that other quarterback went off the board that i was looking at um we have malik willis on the board we only have a 40 percent completion scout on him we have more guys that we scouted defensive lies. So we could continue to like absolutely load the defensive board, but we definitely need a quarterback. And I don't know anything about Malik Willis. He is a throw actually deep C. Oh, I don't know. Never seen a window. He won't throw too but a full spiral. Very antsy in the pocket. Knows when to throw the ball away. Loves to run and plays out a stride. Oh, oh, I don't know, man. 40 yard dash third so he's a fast he's a good athlete but is he the guy i mean we definitely need a quarterback because daniel jones just isn't the guy but i don't know if Blake willis will be either what else do we have down the board is there like another quarterback that i've like scouted at all let's see um no not really carson strong in nevada matt coral so like this is just basically a crap shoot i have no idea what i'm doing here so he didn't he doesn't look all that good let's try the next quarterback on the board and carson strong Throw accuracy short is a B. Four tenth QB, not fast. Acceleration poor. Indirection decent. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I'm really nervous to draft a quarterback here because I don't know if they'll be that good. I mean, we have to take a chance on it, though. We really do. Ah, man. Matt Coral on the board. JT Daniels. Throw accuracy deep is a B. Let's see. Solid, solid, solid. Four all right man i don't know where do i take malik willis here I, i'm gonna do it we need a quarterback i'm gonna draft him and he is a normal de normal development quarterback so yeah not 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 ideal at all <laughs> we got a quarterback i guess but not really what we were looking for um unfortunately i guess my scouts didn't scout quarterback enough i was hoping sam howell would drop i guess but i guess i mean at least we got a good defensive lineman out, out of the draft so we have another pick here, second rounder. Uh, we need a left outside linebacker, but I mean, I mean, literally take anything. Defensive tackle as well. We could go for a wide receiver. Um, let's see what else we got on the board. Do we have anyone that we scouted? 
Uh, we have a 55% scout, but everyone else is just kind of, all right, so what's our 55? He has a defensive tackle. Um, he is a B block shedding. Tackle is terrible and as a D. Do we just take a defensive tackle? Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm going to take a defensive tackle here, my second round pick. Hopefully he's decent. Uh, actually, not Kenyon Green, my bad. Uh, let's take, uh, unless if Kenyon Green would be good. Let's see if he'd be good because we do need more offensive line help. Pass block is a C. Never mind. We're not going to draft him. Okay. Let's just go ahead and draft Jordan Davis. His tackle sucks, though. Uh, but he's a hand development. So, okay, cool. That uh, definitely worked out in our favor. So, I mean, so far, not bad. The quarterback definitely messed out on on. Uh, but everything else seems to be going well. So, I guess we'll probably take, like, one more draft picker in the third round. And then we'll probably call it good after that and let the CPU take the rest. Okay, so here we go. One more decent pick, hopefully. Uh, left tackle. I mean, we could take some tackles here for sure. We can take a chance. Um, we can move one of these guys to right tackle. So let's see which one of these guys looks better. So uh, nothing. We know nothing about physicals, skills, lead blocks a D, uh, run block powers a D. So that guy looks terrible. Uh, but honestly, Nick Broker, though, let's see if he looks better. Um, awareness is a C, pass block is a D. So yeah, again, not that great. And stamina is an F. Okay. Um, I mean, we are in the third round, so I'm not really sure how much better people, you know, the players get, but I guess I'll go ahead and take this guy out of Ohio State, and he is going to be a normal development. Okay, well, that's it for me. Hopefully, uh, you know, the rest of the draft seems to go well, but I'm going to let the CPU take care of the rest. At least we got two hidden development players out of this draft. I'll take it. For the draft, we got a 78 overall uh, right end, and then we got a 68 overall quarterback. So, yeah, and then we got Jordan Davis, who's a 70 overall. So basically, we, we hit on one good draft pick. As far as everyone in the draft, let's see uh, how the other quarterbacks looked. Because we might have, we, we probably should have traded up, it looks like. So it looks like Singletary was the best, uh, let's see, overall wise. So we had, we took the second best player in the draft. So I guess we can feel good about that. Singletary was the best. And then quarterback wise, I mean, they're really, I guess Sam Howell or Spencer Rattler was a 75. And then where's Sam Howell? He is down the board like crazy as well. So I guess he wasn't all that good either. Did Spencer Rattler, I've taken him before. But I can't remember if he had normal development. I'm pretty sure last time I drafted him, he has hidden development. Okay, so I mean, that would have been a solid selection. But I guess we're rolling forward with Daniel Jones. <laughs> I don't really have uh, anyone else I can grab. So yeah, this is a... Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, the team outside of Daniel Jones is pretty good. Uh, we're an 82 overall team. If we go ahead and take a look at our lineup going into this season, uh, we have... Let's see. We have a... What our team looks like... Um, with Daniel Jones, obviously being the quarterback at normal de development, um, Malik Willis is now the backup. And then we have Saquon Barkley. We have, you know, some solid wide receivers on the outside, Kadarius, Tony, Evan Ingram. So, and you know, some offensive line help as well. The center and the right tackle could be better. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but defensive wise, we took uh, obviously Jordan Davis. We have uh, a very young right end. We could probably move um, either Leonard Williams to defensive tackle. And then we have Logan Ryan, who's gone down overall. We took a decent middle linebacker and then um, obviously right out the I'll actually you know what we could do uh because we have hidden development what we could do is maybe move him to right outside linebacker maybe we could do that uh maybe he would be able to you know handle that so let's go ahead and try to move him to an outside linebacker spot see how much he goes down in overall hopefully it's not too much if if he does maybe we'll just move him back so let's move him damn that dude was freaking huge holy crap madden all right let's see defensive wise so uh, if we look at it he's a 70 overall at light outside and linebacker so Okay, defensive wise, I think we are a lot more improved. Obviously, we have a hidden development, defensive tackle. We have a solid right outside linebacker. Offense, though, is where I struggle is the quarterback and obviously center and right tackle. So season comes to an end, and unfortunately, once again, not a good record for us. Six and eleven. I mean, I knew going into it the quarterback position was gonna be needed to be fixed, and unfortunately, it just you know, I didn't have the opportunity to do it. I tried in the draft and it was just uh, Spencer Rattler was like the only quarterback out of the draft and he was already taken when it got to us. So um, we didn't have that great of a season, obviously. So let's go ahead and just uh, obviously look at the stats this season, kind of see maybe where we went wrong. Obviously, the weapons on the outside, I feel comfortable with. Daniel Jones, it just, I think, is the problem. I, I just think uh, he's not the... I, I think as soon as we plug in a good quarterback here, if we're able to, it's going to be a lot better. I really do. So um, that is basically where I'm going to try to make something happen. I just don't know how 
possible it's going to be. I think we're going to have cap space in this offseason. It, it was kind of showing me we we're going to have some. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see. I don't know. Uh, but the stats were all that not that impressive. We went 6 and 11 again. Obviously, we're going to have a high draft pick once again. Uh, but that's about it. So uh, hopefully, let's just go straight to this offseason. Um, we have Bra James Bradbury, who is going to be an initial free agent. Uh, Daniel Jones is going to be a free agent. So we're not going to be bringing him back. Uh, so we definitely have uh, some decisions to make. Uh, although the guy we drafted is already an 84 overall, so that's huge. Um, so W off of that. Uh, season recap. Let's go ahead and check how this looks. 6-11 and 11 once again for us. I mean, this next season is going to be our last chance, really. We need to get a quarterback in here, a win-now quarterback, and get this team into the damn playoffs. So um, I feel pretty good about what we've done for the most part, other than the quarterback position. We need to fix that, and it's just a... Kind of a tough, uh, tough stage right now to fix, figure out what we're going to do for the quarterback. So, um, re-signing stage though, James Bradbury, also an initial free agent. Um, so I'm going to go ahead view 2022 retirements. Do we have anybody retire on our team? Um, uh, let's see. Let's see if we had anyone retire on our team that I need to be notable of and nobody. Okay. I have to say, I don't think we had any like crazy veterans. So, okay. Uh, re-signing stage, nine players ready to negotiate. So, um, we have James Bradbury, uh, Dexter Lawrence. I forgot about him. We did not come to an agreement. Okay. So let me try to get him back. He said, let me see what he initially said. He said, uh, I like the bonus and not the race, just not the salary. Okay. So we need to fix the salary. See, like it says cap room. We have $66 million. So, um, I assume we're going to have some money this free agency. Okay. Boom. We got Dexter Lawrence back. Uh, James Bradbury. I mean, if he's only going to want something cheap, then I wouldn't mind getting him back. I'm going to offer him something. Okay. All right. He enjoyed playing for me. Okay. Franchise tag would cost $23 million. Yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, Blake Martinez, Julian Ruff is a young 25-year-old who has normal dev. I mean, if he's not going to cost me a ton, I'll, I'll offer him something, but uh, he's going to test free agency. Okay, that's fine. All right. And then Daniel Jones, of course, is a free agent. I just don't think we sign him. I think we try to move on to something else. Like when I go into this initial trying to sign these players, it says we have cap space. So um, I'm going to hope that is correct and go straight to free agency and hope there's a freaking awesome quarterback in free agency. That's what I'm going to hope for, basically. So let's go straight to free agency. And it says we have 59. So we do have cap space. Okay. Not really sure where it's all coming from, but I will take it. We have Tyree Kill as a free agent. Damn. Okay. Aaron Rodgers. I think we go for Aaron Rodgers. I really do. I think we go for it. I think we go for Aaron Rodgers. Our quarterback position is not good at all. Um, so we have $59 million. Let's go look at our lineup just to make sure um, nobody like, I don't think. Okay. So if we get Aaron Rodgers here, I think that'll solve all of our problems. So uh, quarterback, not good. Offense is not bad at all. Um, uh, we have Carson Lynch showing up twice. We need a right tackle. We need a full... Actually, we don't need a fullback. What am I talking about? We don't need a fullback. Maybe a backup running back. Uh, Defensive-wise, uh, Blake Martinez was a free agent. Uh, Holmes. Okay, so we lost James Bradbury, but Darnay Holmes is a star development player. So we could give him an opportunity, but at the same time, we should probably get a corner. Logan Ryan is starting to go down in overall. So yeah, we basically... Uh, a middle linebacker. We need a little bit of everything still. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, though, is like my number one priority for sure. We need a quarterback more than anything and that's gonna just carry us a long way so i think we go for it i think we go for aaron Rodgers. i really do so i'm gonna go ahead we draft malik willis he sucks so quarterback wise let's see what other quarterbacks we have baker on the board 20 years old colin kaepernick so it's either between baker or aaron Rodgers. and for me i think we could sign baker but i'm going aaron Rodgers. uh he won't be here for long obviously one year deal this is our best shot of getting a good quarterback I'm gonna sign him 92 total points Aaron Rodgers come in please be our quarterback just like that we need a, a third down back as well that I noticed so I'm not going to try to take anybody crazy like Tyreek Cohen uh, is here he would be a three million dollar cap, cap hit so we'll go ahead and just sign him as like a third down back all right so we got Tyreek Cohen maybe potentially coming here all right now let's go to top 100 again so we need a right tackle as well uh, we don't need defensive line James Bradbury was the other corner uh, still start development. We could just bring him back. Uh, he doesn't want too much money, so we could just bring him back initially. So, because um, we do have a star development corner, Casey Hayward, Bryce Callahan, uh, normal dev, Sean Murphy, Bunting, man to man, Matt Ioannidis. Um, but like I said, we need a. We also need a middle linebacker. We have a star development, 33 year old veteran, uh, Jordan Poyer, uh, Brandon Linder. Ooh, that could be the center. We definitely need a center. Let's do that. Let's get Brandon Linder as our center. I'm going to offer it to him. So we'll have Brandon Linder be our center. 
And then Greedy Williams could be the other corner, but he's 20. I uh, already got some offers. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Ward. We need a... Okay, we need a tackle, though. I know that for sure. So Andre Dillard um, and then right tackle Ryan Bulaga. That is someone uh, Aaron Rodgers is familiar with, but he is 34 years old, so that could be tough on us. Uh, I'm not going to sign him, I don't think. Okay, so cap room is not much left. Uh, corner, I think we need to sign a corner. Casey Hayward, Bryce Callahan. Maybe we just re-sign James Bradbury. I think we just re-sign James. Our cap hit would be huge, though. Uh, Callahan, Sean Murphy bunting. And then there's Kyle Fuller, 31 years old. Greedy Williams. What would his cap hit be? be $5 million? I'll try to sign Greedy Williams here. And we have 95 total points. Are we his best offer? We are. Okay. So my negotiations, uh, obviously, we have more than just that. So top 100, Aaron Rodgers, Linder. Greedy Williams and Tyree Cohen. Okay, let's see if we can get all these guys. Aaron Rodgers, obviously, the the most important player to get because we need a quarterback in the worst way. Please, please, please give me Aaron Rodgers. It'd be a one-year thing, but we're going for it. Everyone accepted besides Greedy Williams. Okay, didn't get a corner. That sucks. Uh, we'll still have some money to maybe sign one, though. Brian Linder, center, and then Cohen also accepted. And Greedy Williams, unfortunately, rejected our contract, uh, but that's okay. We have $15 million, it shows me, so we still have money to sign someone else but let's go ahead and look at the lineup so we got aaron Rodgers as our new quarterback so we have aaron Rodgers. we have a uh, new offensive line uh very good weapons are here evan ingram slayton darius tony sterling shepherd uh it's like there's nobody like crazy good obviously we need a middle linebacker i didn't even i totally forgot about that we need a middle linebacker uh and then logan ryan obviously is going down in overall so just a middle linebacker a corner and maybe a free safety maybe a free safety okay let's try let's try to accomplish all that i don't think we're gonna be able to accomplish all of that here but we'll try and then we should have a high draft pick as well so that should uh hopefully treat us well with one of those selections so okay uh current tyree kill finally getting some offers okay so we need a middle linebacker zadaria smith could we move him to middle i mean we definitely could uh but he might take up like all of our cap space so we need a corner as well casey hayward 33 years old Callahan hasn't gotten an offer. We do need a corner. So I'm going to go ahead and sign Callahan, I think. His cap hit would be enormous, though. Uh, we can maybe lowball him. Kyle Fuller, Henderson, AJ Boye, Tony Brown. I mean, corner, there could be a good corner. In the, I feel like we might get a good corner out of this draft. So maybe we should focus. Maybe we should try to get Zedaria Smith as like a ballpark. One last ballpark home run hit, maybe. Oh, we don't have enough cap space. Okay. Let me try to lowball him, maybe. Okay, let's try that. And okay, so let's see if he accepts that. Zedary Smith. And then I guess the only other thing was a tackle, but I think that's going to be my uh, only other signing. We're going to get a corner out of the draft with our first round pick. That's what I'm going to try to do. And uh, he has not accepted yet. Okay, let's see if he accepts next week. And he is going to, let's see. Moment of truth. Drum roll, please. Please accept this contract. Here we go, trying to make a good draft pick here to set us up for a Super Bowl run. Uh, is it possible? Let's go ahead and check. So, uh, scouting, I didn't do a whole lot of it this year. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of lazy on it. Uh, Vince Tate, uh, we need a corner. We have uh, a linebacker we could grab here. Von Carrington, it was saying that we... Okay, let's see. He has D catching, that doesn't matter. Finesse, C man coverage, B tackle. So, Von Carrington could be solid. We might take him as our first pick. Um, and then I'm going to check out the other corner. Vince Tate. Let's see what he looks like. B press. Uh, let's see what else he has. B press, A stamina, B hit power, F kick return. I think I'm going to take the linebacker. I think I'm going to take the linebacker. Let's hope for good development here. I did not mean to go all the way down the board. It was projecting us to draft him anyway. Hopefully he's good. He has normal dev. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. So, all right. Next pick. We're going to probably make one more selection here. It's going to have to be a corner. Advance the next user pick. So unfortunately, thought we were making a good pick. We have a very early second, which hopefully is going to help us. All right. We got to make a corner. Corner draft here. Is there a good corner on the board? We have Lonnie Middleton. Let's see what he looks like. He has, we have no nothing about him skills wise. B, D, play recognition. That is terrible. Okay. Um, what about, can we go like maybe to... Uh, free safety and maybe like move logan ryan to corner he used to play corner so maybe we could do something like that let's see clinton a pursuit a injury b awareness c catching i take thomas clinton here and hope for the best i don't know man uh or we can look at mitch spielman too uh d zone coverage that's not good at all 
Uh, skills wise, D injury, D yeah, he looks terrible. So C awareness. I think we go ahead and take the free safety um, and uh, try to move Logan Ryan to corner, I guess, or something. I don't know. We're gonna draft him. Let's see if he's good. He is uh, hidden development. So it looks like we might have hit on someone. So that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and simulate the rest of the draft, and I feel like we have our brand new team. Hopefully finally make the postseason. Okay, not the worst draft in the world. Obviously a 73 overall, a 75 free safety, not bad. And then Tower Blake also got a 72 overall corner. Not the worst draft, I would say. Um, let's go ahead and see who was like a beast out of this draft though that we might've messed up on. Uh, NFL, um, we didn't get the best part of the draft. So Dejon Greenfield would've been a, like an absolute monster corner to get sharped in. So there's some good safeties on the board. But I feel good. I, I'm, I'm fine with what we got. We're good. All right, so this next season obviously is for all the marbles. Um, let's go straight to next week. Uh, we're going to probably mess with the lineup just a little bit. Okay, so manage roster. I'm going to probably move Logan Ryan to corner maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so this is our, going to be our lineup to hopefully get a playoff spot. That's what we're hoping for. In the NFC East, we need a playoff spot. If Madden will load the damn roster. Okay, there we go. Aaron Rodgers, Saquon Barkley in the backfield. W. We got a good offensive line other than right tackle, which is fine. Evan Ingram's up to an 87. Darius Slayton's 82. Kadarius Tony 81. Sterling Shepard's gone down overall to an 82 overall. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Defense-wise, we have an absolute monster superstar development uh, guy we got out of the draft. Don't want to say his last name. Xavier McKinney is a... Okay, I didn't realize Xavier McKinney was that good. Okay. And then we have... Um, it, I didn't even realize he was 25 years old. So, forgot about him. Jarrell Peppers... Uh, we got a middle line. Oh, I forgot we didn't draft a middle. Well, we drafted one right uh, linebacker, but whatever. So we could move Carrington to like middle, but it's fine. And then Logan Ryan. Uh, I, I think we could move Logan Ryan to corner. I really do. I think I'm going to move Logan Ryan to corner and hopefully he doesn't go, to, go down overall. Maybe he'll even go up. I don't know. He used to play corner. So I think that's the only other thing I'm doing. Logan Ryan to corner. Uh, and then that'll be it. So hopefully... Let's see, he is a 81 overall corner. So yeah, we'll take it. This is the this is the lineup for the year, ladies and gentlemen. Can this team make it to the playoffs? Been recording for an hour. Please, please, please make the damn postseason. Whole NFC East went 10 and seven, but I don't think we're in the playoffs. We're not in the playoffs, unfortunately. We went 10 and seven, but we didn't make the playoffs because the whole damn NFC East went 10 and seven. How, when does that happen, Madden? Like, that literally hardly ever happens. At least somebody in the division has to suck. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. Well, uh, you know what? I'll take my W. We had a... That is insane. 12 and 5, 10 and 7, 10 and 7, 10 and 7. We were the bottom of the division. Wow. Well, you can't... You just can't really do anything about that when that happens. Well, you know what? Unfortunate, but I'll take it. 30 passing touchdowns from Aaron Rodgers. 7 interceptions. We know what he does. Rushing-wise, Barkley, 1,700 yards. 23 touchdowns on the ground. Kadarius Tony, 987 yards. Evan Ingram, 875. Slayton with 800. So uh, Aaron Rodgers was slinging the ball around. Love it. Okay. Defensive wise, sacks. We had uh, Von Carrington came in with 10 and a half sacks. Okay. Interceptions wise, five from Chris Barnes. Um, solid, solid, solid. So honestly, man, I think I'm getting better at this Madden rebuilding thing. I really am. Unfortunately, though, the simulation screwed us. I'm not going to go another season. I have been absolutely absolutely recording for way too long so i'm gonna go ahead and take my w with a 10 and 7 record to end it off never ever happens where a division is this good never i've never seen that before so whatever i hope you guys enjoyed this video what madden team should we, or what nfl team should we do next thank you guys for watching this is crushables 2 i'm saying peace